Aloha friends, Christina here. I am back home after a whirlwind birthday trip to Paris. It was wonderful and I am so happy to be home getting back into my regular routine. Many of you know that I've been a raw vegan for over 18 years now and something that I rarely, if ever, go a day without is my smoothie or my smoothie bowl because it packs in so much energy and nutrition for me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make an easy raw vegan smoothie or smoothie bowl you can enjoy every day and on any occasion. The very delicious smoothie bowl recipe I'm gonna be sharing with you today is a complete meal. It has a complete amino acid profile and it has all of your essential vitamins and minerals you need to feel your best. I also want to add that this smoothie recipe is for everyone. Anyone can enjoy it. It is so easy to make. If you watched my last vlog that I shared when my mom was here, you saw her make her daily smoothie bowl. And if my mom can do it, you can do it too. And you all saw how good my mom is feeling right now. So I'm excited to share with you a few extra smoothie bowl secrets in this video that will help you to enjoy your smoothies and your smoothie bowls as well. So I'm standing in front of some of my banana palms that I planted here on the property. And before I left, I actually harvested four, maybe five racks of bananas. <laughs> and when my mom came to visit, we were freezing so many bananas before I left. See, here's a rack right here that'll be ready in a few weeks to cut down. So something I make sure I always have in my freezer, no matter what, are frozen bananas. That way, if I don't have ripe ones to make a smoothie, I can make a smoothie with frozen bananas and it can come out just like banana ice cream. So the bananas that I am growing are the ones that I'm using in my smoothie bowls every single day. And I can't tell you how much that excites me. Don't be afraid to have a lot of bananas in your house at once because when they go ripe, you can simply peel them and put them in your freezer for later use in your smoothies and smoothie bowls, just like I do. I've had a lot of people ask me how I am recovering from jet lag, what my recovery looks like, and the truth is, is that I think that consistency is key, especially when it comes to eating this way. So jumping back into your regular routine as quickly as possible, doing what you would do every single day. And even while I was in Paris, I was finding smoothies and enjoying smoothie bowls there. So I believe that consistency is what really gives us the results that we want. I know to some of you it's like, oh, it's just a smoothie bowl, but no. Getting in your daily smoothie bowl is a game changer and I cannot emphasize this enough. So let me take you into the kitchen and let's make a smoothie bowl. The secret to making any smoothie bowl is to start simple. I always like to recommend starting with three simple ingredients because the more ingredients you add at the beginning, the more muddled it becomes and it kind of dilutes the taste and makes it taste not so good. So I find that if you can stick with one or two key ingredients with one addition, that is when you really, really get a delicious smoothie bowl. So for the base of this smoothie bowl, I'm using frozen bananas because I have so many frozen bananas as I shared with you. And I'm gonna add a secondary fruit for this smoothie. I'm gonna be using frozen blueberries. Your secondary fruit can be whatever your preference might be. And for the third ingredient, I usually like to add a liquid to help it blend a little bit. For this smoothie, I'm using freshly cracked coconut water, but I also recommend using freshly squeezed orange juice, freshly pressed apple juice, or even freshly pressed pineapple juice. You can get into making some really delicious combinations by using freshly pressed juices in your smoothies. All the other ingredients that I'm going to be adding in here are additions and of course optional. I happen to think that they enhance a smoothie and really make it not only more nutritious but flavorful and for me it makes it a complete meal. So this smoothie is essentially a meal replacement for those of you who want to make it a meal replacement. I like to enjoy this smoothie recipe for lunch because that is in the middle of the day when I'm using the bulk of my calories and also I'm replacing my calories and staying hydrated at the same time. You're going to need a good blender to make a smoothie like this, especially if you're using frozen bananas because any regular smoothie 
will burn out your blender. I have the Vitamix A3500 and I love this blender because this base is essentially a two in one. And you'll notice here that I have a smaller container on here. It's the new 48 ounce container. I have it in blue, purple, and yellow, and also in clear. And not only do I have the 48 ounce containers for the space, but I also have the larger 64 ounce container. So not only can you blend up smoothies, soups, salad dressings, sauces, and more, but also you can make other things in the food processor like gazpachos and other creations. Vitamix also just released even smaller attachments for this base and they will continue to roll out new features for this base. If you're looking to get a Vitamix blender, I've included a special sales link for you below. I highly recommend that you save that evergreen sales link because it will always be updated for you with their best sales. And by clicking on that specific link, it will give you free shipping on orders of $50 or more. So definitely use that special Vitamix link that is in the description below. Go check it out and enjoy. So when ready, let's go ahead and add in approximately four to five frozen bananas. You can always add more if you'd like. Approximately one cup of frozen blueberries. I'm using wild blueberries here approximately a half to one cup of fresh coconut water, one heaping scoop of Sun Warriors collagen building protein peptides in vanilla. I absolutely love this raw vegan protein powder, not only because it has 14 grams of protein, but also is loaded with essential vitamins, minerals, hyaluronic acid, biotin, kale and spinach, tremella mushrooms, spirulina, silica from bamboo, and more. There is zero added sugars, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, and made with clean ingredients. It's loaded with essential amino acids for your body, and it's also good for your hair, skin, and nails. One of my other go-tos I like to add to my smoothies is Sun Warriors Ormus Super Greens. These super greens are loaded with so many good nutrients for your body, especially minerals. It has moringa, alfalfa, barley grass powder, and more. Sometimes you might not be able to find those exotic greens to add to your smoothies, so this is a great go-to to have in your kitchen. When I really wanna supercharge my smoothies, I'll also add in a teaspoon or even a tablespoon of fresh barley grass powder or fresh spirulina. And other options if you want to add them are Sun Warriors Active Aminos, which have a full profile of amino acids for you and they've also recently launched their creatine. So if you're looking to build muscle or to get into better physical shape, or if you're looking to enhance your brain function, cognition, or even memory, creatine has been shown to have so many different benefits. So when you have all of those ingredients in your blender, blend it up until it becomes completely smooth. If you're making banana and ice cream, you can keep it as thick as you'd like. Pour it into your bowl of choice, how delicious does this look? Look at this vibrant, gorgeous color. From here, you can add on any toppings of your choice. Some of my favorite toppings to add are raw granolas. I have a video showing you how I make my nut-free granola. I also love to add on fresh cacao nibs, extra blueberries, and even sprinkle a little bit of chia seeds. You can add on any toppings that you desire. Voila, look how delicious this smoothie bowl looks. It took us only a few minutes to make. Not only does it taste good, but it is nutritious and delicious and it will keep you feeling satisfied for the rest of the day. How incredible does this look? What a colorful and beautiful bowl. If this smoothie bowl looks good to you and if you'd like to give it a try, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more deliciousness to come. If you're looking for more raw vegan recipes, please download my Fully Raw Recipe app with nearly 500 raw vegan recipes at your fingertips. My app is available on iTunes and Google Play and I have so many cool new updates coming soon, so please give it a download and stay tuned. If you're looking to get a new blender, please check out the Vitamix blender link that I have for you below. That link will give you free shipping on orders of $50 or more 
and it's an evergreen sales link that you can save and go back to at any time so you can always get the best deal on your Vitamix. If you're interested in Sun Warriors supplements or proteins, I've also included a discount code and link for you in the description below. That link and code will give you anywhere from 15 to 30% off based upon if you want an individual item or if you want a bundle. So if you're looking to get some more of Sun Warriors products or looking to stock up, please use that link below. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope this inspires you to go and make your own smoothie bowl and to make it a part of your everyday routine. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video, sending you all my hugs and my love, and I'll see you soon. Bye.